Ah, good morning. You're certainly looking chipper. That's good, because we'll need you at your best. As you may have learned from your own legwork, Colma is a necropolis. Nobody has bothered developing it recently since, well, the dead are traditionally lousy spenders. When you think about it, that makes it the perfect place for people to gather if they don't want to be noticed. No corp security, no imperial marines, it's about as quiet as a place as you can get. You're the only one who's actually seen this troll, so I need you to head down to Colma and check it out. You'll probably want to bring another runner with you, so pick someone dependable. Are you ready to go? Let's go. I'm not sure if the guy we hired is dependable, but a shaman in a place with spirits probably is more valuable than a hacker. And then there's the straightforward fighter, I presume, but we I'm sort of doing that already. I don't want another The Graves of Colma. Even before the awakening, Colma was renowned as a necropolis, a city where the dead outnumbered the living by more than a thousand to one. Now that magic has returned to Earth, people tend to show great caution around graveyards. A city where practically every square foot contains a corpse does not receive many visitors. Wilds grow thicker as you travel south of the city, and a thick haze envelopes you. envelops you? Well, yeah, envelopes you. Hmm. It's more or less the same thing, I guess. envelopes you by the time you reach the outskirts of Woodlaw Cemetery. Woodlawn Cemetery. Vague shapes lumber in the distance, heading deeper inward. Perhaps here is where you will finally find Norton. Perhaps. Not following me or anything. Graves, 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 graves. Oh shit. Um, we're staying away from the graves. Gatekeeper. Who lies here? I have no idea. Suppose we're gonna go even inspecting then. The President's Advisor from Fiction in Days of Yore. What? President's Advisor from Fiction? Doesn't ring a bell. From the mountain Cheyenne, he fired missiles again. A tree in the desert name him or be hurt. With a blow of his horn, the walls were torn. Yeah, none of these tips mean nothing to me. Joshua? I don't really know. Maybe, I don't know. Something. Okay, which weapon are we using? Mm, they have the same firing modes. Okay, we have lightning barrier, air barrier, haste, and heal.
can summon a spirit, but where's the enemy? See any enemies here? There must be. Ah, oh, there we go. Horse and soldiers. Very low level spirit, but I'm sure it can act as a decoy. Norton is dead, long live Norton. Yeah. The uh, abomination doesn't actually have enough room to move here, so it's uh, it's totally worthless. No, no, it can basically just move around the grave and where else? Ah, uh, it's so worthless. Well, it can do this, and now it's done. I'd say I was expecting a little bit better out of it. Control of the spirit for now. Though, I'm not quite sure if it's gonna do us any good. Gonna have to inspect that. Zero AP. Uh, let's go away. Little free uh, action point for our shaman. Not seeing anyone. Norton first, Emperor of the United States and um, Protector of Mexico. Joshua A. Norton. I guess Joshua was the correct answer then. Trying to run towards a guy who has various fire and not using any cover, that's that's not a good idea.
Emperor Norton. Please, in the name of the Emperor, we order you to stop this senseless slaughter. None of our subjects have laid a hand upon you. Why must you spread your curse of death among them? You stand in the presence of Emperor Joshua Norton the Ninth, Emperor of this California state and the protector of the Ucas. You may bow. You come here from San Francisco, do you not? We have longed to return to her most beauteous streets, her seven hills of luscious green, our fair subjects who cry out in their hour of need. Our head hangs heavy, burdened with the responsibilities of state, but enough of that. Please tell us why have you come to our court? Chavaris. I believe they are looking for me, your Imperial Majesty. I encountered them while carrying out your work in the pyramid yesterday. My work? We do not remember asking you to visit the pyramid, loyal Chavaris. Merely to assure our subjects of our imminent return. Indeed, your Majesty. And what better way to assure them of your imminent return than to strike a blow against one of the powerful corporations that hold them in oppression? Norton's commanding gaze grows unfocused. For a brief moment he seems troubled and confused. But surely it is Saito who holds them in oppression, is it not? His eyes snap back to you. But enough of these affairs of court. You say that you wish to question our subject. Very well. What would you know? Mm. Are you going to attack Saito? You see, your majesty, it is as I have been telling you. Your loyal subjects cry out for you to take action and overthrow the usurper. Norton stares unhappily at his boots. It would be uncalled for the emperor to invade his own city. Our role is to elevate the lives of our citizens, not to cut down the wayward. Okay, I, I need the information Shavaras took. Yes, what exactly were you doing, Shavaris? Why did you disobey our decree and enter the pyramid? Your Majesty, surely you must understand by now that your enemies will not leave simply by wishing so. We must strike against them. We must strike so brutally and effectively that they fear to spend another day in your city. While many dis dispossessed metahumans have luck to your presence, they will never stand a chance against the might of the marines coupled with the bottomless resources of the megacorps. We must hit them where they are weakest, cutting off for their will to remain. But how will you ensure that our, only our enemies are affected? I wish I could assure your majesty that there would be no civilian casualties, but I cannot. They must pay the necessary price for freedom, whether they wish it or not. Consider, however, that these same victims would otherwise live, well, live the rest of their years in despair. Is it not better that their lives mean something even in death? Is it not better that their sacrifice, unwilling though it might be, improve the world for their children and all meta-humankind? No, we will not allow it. This goes entirely too far, Shabaris. What shall I do, or? Uh, 
I, is Shavaris really implying a scorch earth? That's uh, it's not gonna work in a city environment. It's not like it's not like there's resources to be harvested there that uh, are lost. You're only gonna kill the humans. At the same time, if I mean, if you're going to make a scorch to the point that the opposite side cannot possibly have any interest in it, you you're basically make it uninhabitable. What do you think, Delman? I think we're witnessing a crazy off, and I can't tell who's winning. The homeless guy who's convinced that he's the Emperor of Calfrey, or the sociopathic troll who thinks he needs to destroy a city in order to save it. Uh, yeah, we can basically pick a side. Uh, Chavaris is probably the one in charge. I don't know why I'm giving an opinion on this. This is not my mission. But I suppose it's going to be... Well, okay. Chavaris is very unlikely to keep the information I need from him uh, voluntarily, so maybe I should decide with Norton so I just get rid of him. Chavaris is a danger. You need to get rid of him. Yes. Yes, quite right. Chavaris, we thank you for your term of loyal service, but sadly, we can no longer countenance your presence in our Imperial Court. Your dangerous initiatives impugn the integrity of our office and damage our beloved persona. Therefore, we hereby banish you from the California Free State and order you never to return. Do you? Do you? Yeah, you do, do you? Just like you banished Saito. How well did that turn out anyways? You're a Fool, Norton. You were a useful fool for a time. A fool who made us laugh and inspire many to join us. But your time has passed. We don't need any more dreamers. We need soldiers. Anyone who isn't willing to bloody their hands in our great war has no place in our ranks. They don't even deserve to live. Yeah, I think you're going a little bit overboard on that, but whatever. It's um, you're not gonna win the war either at that point. It becomes uh, increasingly irrelevant which side wins if that's your, that's the way you're gonna see it. Treason, seize him. Do you think you have loyal friends here? Every word of yours reveals you as a greater fool. I've long moved my most trusted followers here to Colma and dispersed your own harmlessly around the region. This is a coup. A coup that ends in your death. I must be off. I have an appointment to keep. Finish the job, friends. Run away! Are the dogs gonna attack, protect Norton or not? Bummer. Lazarus. Holy shit, this guy's a uh, shaman. Heal, armor, slow, air barrier. Okay, can you shaman that? Too far away. Shit, should have used Norton for that. Or a peep. Fuck it. Uh, 
Uh, okay, he can't die. Um. I basically wasted my time there. I'm not moving from this spot, it's a good spot. Maybe I should go after him. Survive the attack now. Yeah, these guys are incredibly weak. A single shot will probably be enough to kill. to defend the Emperor. The ox will die, but I don't care. Okay, can he do anything useful? Good. Good. Does action point damage, so only a single hit is necessary to totally disable the opponent. Okay, for the extra points. Use you and what to do with you. I think 
think I'm not going to risk controlling the, uh, the spirit here. If it runs out of control, we'll kill both the, both the harms. We should move to support them. No, we're fine. Dogs are dead. Halloweeners. The dogs are really surprisingly good. Still, I'm not moving my muscles here until the enemy comes closer. It's just not. I'm sure we would be fine, however, this is a much better place. We have the ley lines, we have heavy cover, there's no weak system. Yeah, run out of control. Doesn't matter, it's not gonna see us, it sees them. Lots is born there. We could make lightning barriers, I suppose. How many can we make? Yeah, it's not. Uh, I just don't particularly have anything better to put there or use my action points on. Coming our way. Oh. 
survived the attack completed. Gloriously fought. We thank our subjects for their most valiant efforts in battle. Now you must find Chavares before yeah, before you arrived. He mentioned that he would be traveling to the Embarcadero. I know not what he intends, but you must find him quickly. Sure, whatever. Mm. Seems like this is a campaign designed to basically to be played with a single character, no no sidekicks. You can use a uh, sidekick, but I mean, is nothing terribly dangerous has come our way so far. Might be because I have uh, purely combat focused character, though. So the straight up combat is easy for us. The burst fire allows us to do a um, much greater damage in a turn than otherwise we could, so might be, that might explain it. Okay. You race back north, the eerie graveyards of Colma fading behind you into the mist. Saito's forces appear unusually busy at the borders, allowing you to slip on the surface streets and bypass their checkpoints. You head back to the Embarcadero, where you first set foot on this fractured city. Piers that were first built during the gold rush are busy once more as the Megacorps seek to cut off Oakland's trade and manage shipping within the city limits. Numerous smaller vessels also ply their trade here, ferrying sightseers, divers, smugglers and corpses in and out of the city. Chavaris is about to rendezvous with one of those boats, and you intend to find him first. 